All right, everybody, today we are here to talk about Dehancer, which is a film emulation plugin for DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut, and Premiere Pro. Dehancer reached out to me. They offered me a free version of this software in uh, exchange for an honest review from me. They in no way uh, editorialized this video, told me what to say. These thoughts are my own and uh, I'm excited to dive in and talk about it. But first things first, what is a film emulation plugin? Uh, that just means it's a plugin that is trying to take digital footage and give it the characteristics of film, uh, all the way from color to grain to gate weave, halation, glow, all the little sort of intricacies that film brings to an image that we don't really get with digital because it's so clean and perfect. But yeah, let's dive in. What do we think? One of the first things I noticed is that it's very user friendly. I did not do any reading before I installed the software and just started messing around with this uh, plugin on old footage. I felt like it was very intuitive and I sort of got what I was doing right away. So one of the best things about the software is the versatility. If you want a clean, cinematic looking film emulation, it might look something like this. And if you want something that's really grainy and 16 mil, eight mil, dirty, halation, kind of all that gate weave and stuff, it might look something like this. You get such a wide variety of looks within those different uh, film profiles that that alone, in my opinion, makes the software worth it. Now, that being said, I thought some of the looks were stronger than other looks. I'd say, if anything, the biggest things that I don't like about Dehancer are the film print looks that are built um, trying to replicate motion picture stock. So like the Kodak Vision 3 250D, for example. I don't really love the way that it plays right out of the box. And I'm sure I could get there with the different sliders and with color grading underneath it, but I didn't like what it was doing to my footage and it didn't seem to be a very filmic or good representation of motion picture film to my eye. Um, now that being said, there was plenty of looks that I did love. The looks that really worked for me just kind of out of the box were the Cinestill 800T and the Kodak Portra 400, which are both photo stocks, but I thought they looked beautiful on the footage that I was working with. Now, that being said, I don't think it's a one and done solution for color grading. I still think that you should set up a good grading practice underneath the look of Dehancer and you know do your color balance and exposure control and all of that underneath the look and use the look as sort of your final transform to Rec. 709. The other thing that I noticed when diving in and using the software, and again, this is with little to no research, is that some of the sliders uh, didn't do anything. They didn't seem to affect the footage. So I'm not sure if it was something that I was doing wrong or uh, if that's just, you know, certain profiles only work you know, with like, for instance, the color separation. I wasn't sure why those sliders had no effect on my footage. Um, the other thing that I loved was the out of the box support for RE Log C4, which is the new RE Color Science with the Alexa 35. Because I shoot most of my stuff on the Alexa Mini, I have a lot of LUTs that are built for the Mini for Log C3. And, you know, having that support for Log C4, I got the chance to shoot some stuff on the Alexa 35 this past summer. And so I was able to pull up some of that footage and see how Dehancer behaved and it looked really, really nice. Um, so it, it was great to see support for Log C4 and it's got everything, you know, from Blackmagic to RE to Canon to RED. Oftentimes when I'm doing documentary stuff, I'm shooting my A-cam with the Alexa Mini and my B-cam is an old red Scarlet that I have. And so intercutting and color matching those cameras can be challenging and it's nice to have a software and looks that support both of those cameras. If you're trying to replicate like 16 mil or eight mil or kind of give your film this old vintage feel, this is a great piece of software to do that. Sometimes you just want that little bit of character uh, that's really subtle to the eye and this is a, a great solution for that as well. And Dehancer also just released a iPhone app and they sent me a code to try that out for a free year and I've been playing with the iPhone app and it's, it's actually really cool. My takeaway is I'm gonna keep using it. I really liked it. I definitely recommend that you check it out. So yeah, check it out. I've got a discount code for 10% in the description below and also give that phone app a look. I've been playing around with it and it's pretty cool. Did it work? Wait, was something supposed to happen? Uh, it, will in, it will in post, yeah. Okay.